Hi, my name is Jag and I'm an open source specialist SA with Amazon Web Services. In this video, we are going to talk about how to use AWS Lambda as a processor within your Amazon Open Source Ingestion pipelines. So what are processors? Processors are components that you define in your pipeline that allows you to filter, transform, and enrich the data to your desired format before you can send that to a destination of your choice. You can define multiple processors within a single pipeline and they run sequentially in the order that you have defined in the pipeline configuration. Open Search Ingestion now allows you to use Lambda functions as processors along with native built-in processors when transforming data. You can batch events into a single payload based on event count or size before invoking the Lambda function so that you can optimize for performance and cost. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a source text data. In this case, we are going to use the IMDB movie sample data set and convert them into vector embeddings using the AWS Lambda processor within the OSI pipeline. The Lambda function within the open search ingestion pipeline will invoke Amazon Titan text embedding models that are hosted in Amazon Bedrock. So that allows you with scalable and efficient embedding generations. Now we also note that open search service provides you with a neural search that does something similar. You can convert your text data into vectors and facilitate vector search both during ingestion as well as search time. But in this video, we're going to see how to use a Lambda function within your open search ingestion pipeline to accomplish the vector generation process. So let's get some prerequisites done. So for the open search ingestion pipeline to run, we must create a role that has necessary permissions to call AWS Lambda as its processor. It should also have permissions to access S3 where we are going to be loading the data set and also permissions to write to the Amazon Open Search Serverless Collect. In addition, the role should also have a trust relationship for open search ingestion service so that the service can assume that role. Next, let's make sure that we have enabled the foundation model, in our case, the Titan text embedding models available in Amazon Bedrock. So for that, let's go to Amazon Bedrock console. Let's go to model access and make sure that the model is granted access already. So in my case, I have played with a bunch of models that I have access to. So if you don't have this model enabled, you can go to modify access model, choose the model that you want to, choose next and submit to request access. So make sure you have access to the specific model that you're trying to use to generate the vector embeddings. Now let's go ahead and create the pipeline. So in this case, I'm going to be using the IMDB non-commercial data sets and specifically the title basics data set that has the title, the original title, the year the movie or any show was released, as well as runtimes and genre. I am specifically going to be operating on the original title field where I'm going to take this field, convert this field to vector embeddings and store the embeddings along with the document in open search so that when I'm eventually doing search, I can perform a semantic search using vectors versus just a lexical search, which will operate on the text. Let's take a look at the pipeline code. So in this case, I'm going to be using an S3 source where I'm going to upload the IMDB dataset into an S3 bucket and I'm going to be using the scan function. Now in the process section, I'm able to use AWS Lambda as a processor where I can specify the function name. And in this case, the Lambda function's name is generate embeddings bedrock. And I also have a parameter that says response events match is true, which tells uh, open search ingestion pipeline that the number of records that is sent to the Lambda function is the same as the number received, right? We are not doing any aggregations. We are getting an embedding for every single record that we send there. We also have the ability to now batch the data. So key name is an important parameter to look at. Uh, in this case, I'm using documents as my key name, and this is what you can use in Lambda to reference the set of records that is being sent to Lambda. And then you can iterate on individual records within the document set. And you also have a threshold where you can say, I can either batch by event count 
or size. In this case, I'm going to be for demo purposes using an event count of four, but typically you can use a larger event count based on your payload or also use an event size as your batching mechanism where you can batch up to six megabytes of data together in a single batch. And in the sync, I'm going to have my serverless connection endpoint as well as the specific index that I'm going to be writing the data set to. Now let's look at the Lambda function. So the Lambda function is pretty straightforward. So if you remember, we used documents as our keyword in the open search ingestion pipeline configuration. So I'm going to be using the same documents to extract the data set that's coming to Lambda as part of each batch. And I'm going to check for every record if original title field is available. And if so, I'm going to be calling this generate embedding function. And this function is pretty straightforward too, right? It's going to call the Titan text embedding model within Amazon Bedrock, and it's going to give back the embeddings. Once I get the embeddings, I'm going to store the embeddings as original title embeddings and store it as part of the same record and send it back to the open search ingestion pipeline. Now let's create a pipeline. So I'll go to create pipeline and I'm going to search for the Lambda blueprint or I can also do a blank one since I already have the code. I'm going to call the pipeline Lambda pipeline IMDB and I'm going to paste the pipeline we just went through. I'm going to validate the pipeline, make sure uh, it's syntactically correct. And I'm going to use a specific VPC. I'll choose the subnets where I want it to be deployed. I'm going to use not this one, this one. I'm going to use the security groups and make sure you are publishing your logs to CloudWatch. You're going to choose next. Everything looks good. Now I'm going to go and create the pipeline. The pipeline we created is up and running. It shows active. So let's go to S3 and I'm going to look for the bucket Lambda processor blog that we defined. And here I'm going to drop in the sample file that we have. sample. So I uploaded the IMDB sample file here. Now the pipeline is going to pick up this file and going to start processing the data. Now that the pipeline has processed the data, let's check the data in our index. So I'm going to go to Dev Tools and I'm going to get IMDB data embeddings, the index we created as part of the pipeline. I'm doing a full search on it. So as you can see, the 10 records have been processed. And if we scroll down, you'll see that on top of the values and the fields that were in the source data, we have now also created the embeddings and stored them in the original title embeddings field, which now has all the vector embeddings that's in there so that I can use this data to perform semantic search. So that's how you use the Lambda function as a processor within an open search ingestion pipeline to transform and enrich filter data, or in this case, to generate vector embeddings of your source data and deliver them into an Amazon open search serverless collection. For more details on this feature, you can refer to the documentation that's listed in the description of this video. And until next time, this is Jag, your open search specialist essay.